to all our viewers on Supersport, your world of champions. It is the first semi-final of the Netball Varsity Cup 2023 edition. We're live from the Rimran Hall at the University of Pretoria. Tux takes on defending champions Marty in this first semi-final encounter. Can they bring the ball down? Nope, Alice gets into defense mode. Oh, beautifully done. Would have been a screen set up, but that just worked perfectly with Marichal. Oh, what a dangerous pocket drive. Great movement by Lali. Excellent give and go by Rochelle. Can she finish? Yeah, she does. Beautiful. Don't you think the, the girls need to play a little quick short where they cut the defender and turn around and take a short pass in front? It'll make it easier for them to come closer and closer to the ball as opposed to taking long shots and risking it considering the score line. I think the, the structures are set up in such a manner that you can play either or. You can either have those long balls coming in or just play it quick and sharp. But I think it will come down to the player with the ball in hand. That's what I was talking about. This is exactly what I was talking about. Play her loose, she will come out, confuse the space, and get that flyer. She knows how to get those flyers. Martis was uh, doing well in their power play, making sure that they get two goals out of it. Good to see Lisa getting into the swing of things there, but unfortunately, that ball doesn't even hit the ring. Oh, oh Tisha and her strength. Mm -mm. Both teams really looking for that speed. You can see there's a lot of demanding the ball, some urgency coming through from both sides, but now they need to balance it out. They need to make sure that with this urgency that they have and this eagerness, they need to make sure, you know what, let's just continue where we ended off. Oh, and a steal from Caroline Paul. Oh, Kamu stands so perfectly, an excellent patience there by Ky Kylie. Look at the confidence in Kamu. I think Coach Jenny Van Dijk is going to double it down now. She's not even going to wait. She's here to win this, and she doesn't want to make it. She doesn't want to have, like, uncertain spaces, you know? She wants to make sure that she comes back with this. And we can already see that with the changes that she's made, moving Poppy Nematengari onto that wing defense position with Luka Kian being introduced on the goal defense position. Excellent rebound there by Luka. Kamohala oh. turning into a baseline beast, eh? <laughs> 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 oh, and a brilliant take from Luka Kian. Unfortunately, Pansail could not secure that ball. Oh. Nice recovery from Lali. But I do Run think that with the time frame as it is, there's there's not much that that they can do to cover the scoreline. But they have brought out a performance, and I love the resilience in all of them. If there's anything that we can say came from the Martis' defense was their level of perseverance throughout this game. Yeah, we have 10 seconds remaining of this semi-final encounter from the Marty side and the Tuck side and Tux comes back with a victory and we see coach Jenny Van Dijk giving her girls a hand and saying look you did it and I did call the double down I did call that they're gonna go full throttle on this one we can confirm the final score of this fifth semi-final at Tuck sitting at 61 goals and Marty's at 33.